So guys, I'm very happy to tell you that we are done with the diagrams. Now we can read a full diagram, which is right here. So we've seen some theoretical concepts and we've done many exercises in order to know how to read this diagram. And what else I wanted to show you, there are plenty of diagrams of this type. And the only thing I want to show you is a little bit on the axis right here. Just be sure this is the Q volumetric flow rate, this is the system or pump head. This We have different lines for different diameters. We have also calculated the power requirements. Recall that the efficiency or the best efficiency and performance of a pump will be near this point. So try avoid using this. If you are operating in these points, don't use this uh, how do I say, don't use this pump because this pump is not designed for that type of operation. And also we have the NPSH required in order to avoid cavitation. So this is a pretty interesting concept and many times we're going to have also at what speed is operating our impeller, which is very important. We always need to know what is the speed of our impeller and what's the maximum capacity, minimum capacity and many other interesting concepts. And that was essentially everything guys. If you want to see more problems on pipe diagram, uh, pump diagrams and pump curves, go to part number one in compressible flow. You can either find some solved problems or some theoretical questions on the quizzes or check out more content on these slideshows and many other. So thank you and see you in the next video. This was a free preview. You want to get full access, go to my incompressible flow course. The link is in the description of the video. You will get all access. Not only that, you get a very straightforward, uh, user friendly interface. So, for instance, if you were analyzing or studying pumps, you have it here the pump block. And then you have the sections. If you were, for example, studying the types of pumps, you can go here and you have all the classes right here. Not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these. So for instance, if you were studying positive displacement pumps, the video is right here. If you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.